What's up guys? Look, this is day two of the vlog and I don't know if you noticed but I'm using a different camera because yesterday my GoPro camera that I've used died on me again and I got sick of it and I literally I took out the SD card that was in it and I threw it in the trash can because I was sick of the fucking thing and it pissed me off so much I threw everything all the equipment everything that belonged to it into the trash can and was done with it there the batteries, the camera itself, the little, there's a truck coming, the little uh, body kit it had with the microphone and all that. I just took it, threw it in the trash can, goodbye, I'll never buy a GoPro camera again. And I would suggest for you to not buy a Go GoPro camera also. Then I went to the next electronic store over here it's called media Markt. bought a vlogging camera I asked the guy what is the best vlogging camera you have he said a sony whatever i said give it to me <laughs> also bought a three-year guarantee for repairs and went out the Swiped my credit card and that was it. Came out to be about 700 bucks, including the, the insurance. Because I was sick of the goddamn issues. So, now I'm shooting with the new camera and I'm back filming. And that's why yesterday's video is only halfway through. And yeah. But I think it's long enough. I'm not gonna give you every meal every day, every training session every day. Because that's probably gonna be fucking boring. <laughs> Although Rich Piana used to do it. And that was nice, was it? Big goodbye today. Yeah. So again. We walk in here in the morning, then we're making the shake and going to the gym. I'm also practicing vacuums in the morning, but right now, man, I don't even want to show you my body <sighs> because I look like shit, I feel. I feel like I look like total dog crap. To be honest well I don't have anything else to say that is smart oh yeah I lost more weight I was 116.8 yesterday today I'm 116.1 I'm gonna give you a full disclosure as you all know, or some of you know, I have my left hip replaced, which is awesome. It feels great, it's awesome. And the right hip is really bothering me, the, the natural one. It is really fucking bothering me. So yesterday, before I went to bed, I loaded up on painkillers. And those always, for some reason, flat me out. So I'm even lighter today than I was yesterday it's 116.1 yeah so yesterday was stressful but I'm gonna get through it and get my weight back up to 120 at least because otherwise <laughs> at this rate I can do the classic I can't but but I don't want to be look stringy on the Olympia stage well okay 
I'm gonna talk to you later, either when I'm do making my shake or at the gym. Goodbye. All right, so, driving home, the training session was pretty good, I gotta say, for a change. So, quick rundown, I did start out with lying leg curls. I really like this machine, it's an old Gym 80. And it has a perfect, for me, strength curve. And whenever I get to gym 26, I take advantage of this machine. So, I did 10 working sets. Yes, 10 working sets. After warm-ups, of 12 reps each. So that means I had to get 12 or more and if I don't reach 12 reps, I have to rest pause or cheat a little bit in order to get 12 reps at the end. Okay, so that's the, that's the task there. I did those 12, uh, 10 sets of 12 reps. The last one was even a drop set, so I dropped it down a little bit and then did another 12. So basically it was 11 sets but I always count drop sets as one set. Then I moved on to one of my favorite hamstring movements. I call it glute ham raises in the Smith machine. And you can see the setup. I used the 60 kilo dumbbell at home. I would normally use an 80 kilo dumbbell, but they only have 60s. And at home, I at Jimmy Rig, I, I take two 40 kilos. But today, I figured, well, let's just go a little bit more. I set up the bar of the Smith machine a little lower, which makes it harder. And I did more of a yeah, more more focused, more squeeze, a little slower than normal. And yeah, it was good. So five sets there. Sadly, the gym has no seated hamstring curl machine. So normally at this point, I would have done a seated, but they don't have one. I also normally put in a glued ham raise in one of those glued ham horses, let's say. But they don't have that either. So instead, I did a superset of the lying dumbbell curl for hamstrings, obviously, and hyper extensions where the platform is really low on your thighs. So platform really low on the thighs, which puts most of the stress on the hamstring. And paired that up, like I said, with the lying dumbbell curl for three supersets, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, no rest, just whatever many reps I could get with the chosen weight on the dumbbell curls and body weight on the <coughs> hyper extensions. And then last exercise, again, three sets, sumo dumbbell squat, which is not really a hamstring exercise, but with the sumo stance. And as you can see, I'm leaning a little forward to accentuate the adductors, give them a good stretch, and also the ass. So my glutes, and they get a good stretch and I could really, after all those hamstring movements and hyper extensions, so all the hip extending I've, I've done and all the hamstring curls, I could really feel that in my hamstrings, glutes, and adductors. It also 
can also vary the, the uh, where the weight targets the thigh by the by distrib distributing the distributing the weight on specific parts of your foot so in order to hit my inner thigh and my ass more I put the weight more on the heel of my foot and I imagine when I'm coming up sliding my heels towards one another I hope that makes sense but try it as you come up try to you're obviously not doing it but just imagine your heels are sliding towards one another and obviously the foot is turned out like a duck like a sumo wrestler in the stands before they fight so those were the 10 sets and 5 sets then 6 sets got 21 we got 24 sets of hamstrings then immediately three rounds of posing I don't know yet if I put that in the video <laughs> I felt I looked pretty good but for some reason in that mirror I always look pretty good and then in other mirrors I look like shit if you ask me at home in the morning when I practice my vacuums after the cardio walk I didn't look as good <laughs> well, so now I'm driving home like I said the meal at home now is gonna be 550 grams of egg whites which will give me about 60 grams of protein and carbohydrates I'm gonna have rice cakes because I like them some people ask me why I, why do you eat rice cakes why don't you eat blah 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 it's because I like them not for some scientific reason not for any other reason other than I like them I use plain white rice cakes obviously the salted ones and I enjoy eating them and yeah that's it nothing much to say I take all my supplements as you saw in the last video um, right after training it's probably interesting to you I scoop down about 10 grams of glutamine right after every training session and I also have but this is only an experiment my company Big Zone they have a supplement that contains ashwagandha phosphate to Dilzerin or whatever it's called and some other cortisol blocking agents and I take that after training to speed up recovery basically that's what I that's what I want out of the supplement because right now you can imagine my cortisol is probably I don't know but probably it's pretty high I figure from all the dieting from all the shows from the low uh, from the calorie deficit back and forth from the traveling from the stress the anxiety all that shit that goes into a diet uh, that comes with the territory but if you can do something to mitigate that or help that I'm all for it so they have that supplement it's called CSA I don't know what it means but um, yeah it's free I'm gonna take advantage of it see if it helps and if it only helps a little bit I'm cool with that yeah other than that I'm just taking the supplements that I showed you yesterday 
in the other video and load up on them. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. So when I get when I get home here, which is always about a 15 minute drive, I always make sure I train. I always make sure I train during hours where the streets are empty so I can drive to the gym without any traffic which is at around noon and at around uh, past nine o'clock or at like nine o'clock at night and the gym is empty at, uh, at those times as well so nobody trains at one o'clock at noon and nobody trains at nine yeah so that's when I'm when I'm out meaning also that I am up very late and I get up comparably late to other people which is good because when I get over to the States I don't have any jet lag because let's say I go to bed here at 4 in the morning that is uh, 4 in the morning here 6 hour time difference should be 10 o'clock at night in Orlando so when I get to Orlando I'm already acclimated to the time and when I get up at 10 uh, at 11 in the morning start my day six hour difference that is about I think five five in the morning LA time right yeah so that's cool LA time I mean Orlando time <laughs> yeah I'm almost home I think what I do is I'm gonna take this audio and put it under the training video so you can listen to that while you are watching the training yeah. so next slide is gonna be the meal see you there
Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless
So really quick, because I want to eat. This is the egg white omelette. This is spinach. 100 grams of spinach. For guilty conscience also. 550 grams of egg whites. 300 grams of rice cakes. Yeah, 300 grams of rice cakes. That's like 240 carbs. Boom. Second training session of the day. As you all know, especially on legs, I normally train with my wife. We don't train together, but she either trains around me to spot me on the heavy lifts like hack squat and all that or she just comes down to the gym with me to assist me like i said now here in gym 26 my wife wasn't there and i needed a training partner because the way i train now with the intensity i want to do forced reps i want to go beyond failure I need someone to spot me and just asking some random dude in the gym although in gym 26 there are a lot of guys that are actually experienced trainers I didn't want to take the risk and I also didn't want to take the time to explain for 30 minutes before every set how to do it and what to do and what not to do and you know so I put on, out a story on Instagram saying I need a training partner at gym 26 at 2100 hours and one guy actually one person responded was a natural competitor that lives here in the city of Munich he drove out he looked good first of all I checked out his profile so I figured well he's got to know what he's doing and he drove out here i gotta give him credit for that one hour with um public transportation to train legs with me he was there on time we had a little talk discussed how to spot we were on the exact same page and then we started training and it went good it wasn't a hundred percent from the first set on but by the second or third set it was basically exactly the way i wanted it i spotted him he spotted me we pushed each other and it was fun so thank you man and we can do this again next time whenever i do legs or any other body part if you have time and i have time and our schedules match then let's meet up again man so we started out with the hack squat actually i'm doing i'm i'm calling it two separate exercises because the first three sets as you all know working sets are always to failure and beyond are heel elevated feet a little lower on the platform and a little a little closer together second exercise again three working sets we removed the heel elevation now the feet are very wide as wide as possible as the platform allows and as wide as possible as the platform allows like i said and uh, a little higher up on the platform we did a lot of shit like drop sets, rest pauses, and um, forced reps. So basically we did six sets, all of them beyond failure. On the third set, we transitioned from the hacks from the heel elevation. Then he immediately removed the elevation and then I proceeded with the regular flat feet um, hack squats but that counted as one set so after that we did three more sets without the elevation then we went on 
two leg extensions. For some reason in this gym, every machine is twice as heavy as in any other gym. The hack squat also was very steep. We did three sets on the leg extension, at least 20 reps. I think I got a little more than 20 on all of them. As you see, my form is always, I call it on point. I feel it, it's awesome, and I go to failure. On, on the extension, I only go to positive failure. So that was three exercises there. Then we went on to Smith machine, sumo, squat, three sets there. Also, I was going for 12 reps on each set. So I rest paused if I had to. Here, the goal is to position the feet very wide and move mainly from the hips so the glutes and the adductors get the brunt of the work and we supersetted that with adductors with the adductor machine three sets on each and that's basically it so three exercises for the quads I don't know what that was. Three exercises for the quads. One superset focusing on the adductors. And that was it. It was tough, gotta say. <laughs> Doesn't sound like much, but it was enough on that day. After that, I went back home, ate, two more meals and went straight to bed because I was tired. Tomorrow morning, I'm looking forward to physical therapy with my, with the best physical therapist I have ever worked with. Her name is Ulrike. And uh, for today, that was it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel, as you all know. Leave a comment, leave a like, share, whatever all the other influencers always have to say. Use my code REX10 at bigminuszone.de. Thanks, and uh, see you on the next one. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I make some progress, 
us I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb And I think that the pain that's deep inside Is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be 